Everest pilot training in a simulator that needs to replicate the real thing flawlessly. CAE in Montreal, Canada built the very first A380 simulator. Their customers hand over $20 million per sim, expecting it to handle exactly like a real jet that costs almost 20 times more. The first scenario is going to be a landing on uh, an IC runway. Engineer Eric Vernier and pilot John Morehouse are putting a new A380 simulator to the test before it's delivered to another airline. Time the system crashes. It's back to the drawing board. Maybe the database is not up to date or no. Some corrections to that again. The A380 flight deck features over 1,500 pieces of software and over a million lines of code. The thought that the computers can freeze or that the screens could go blank might make passengers nervous. But Eric's not concerned. If let's say we have absolutely no screen available, they'll have all the documentation available through the uh, what we call the NSS. And there's two uh, laptops for backup. The laptops allow the pilots to reconnect into the A380's computer network, as well as providing all the technical assistance they could ever need. All fire push button off. After Eric's made some adjustments, John wants another crack at landing on the icy runway. The uh, prolonged landing roll is with uh, maximum auto brake on the exterior runway. This time, the scenario plays out a little better. There's 40 knots and the strong full manual brakes. their tests are complete, they'll deliver the simulator to a waiting customer whose pilots can get the experience they need before flying with real passengers. Blue, on the 4x4, reset the transponder squawk 3263. Ladies and gentlemen, we 